guys, uh, it's Captain Eisman here, and uh, I'm gonna show you a tool that I've been working on, it's called XP Measurizer. And basically it's to be able to sculpt the terrain inside X-Plane based on the tiles that building with Ortho for XP. So this is my current scenery and this is what I call my playground for doing all my tests and purposes. You can see here that the runway, it's, uh, well, this is a tile that I built with um, some scripts and stuff based on the art for XP. And I'm um, injecting high resolution terrain, etc., doing iterations and stuff. But, and uh, I'm gonna show you how to sculpt the area of the airport with a tool. And this is uh, just for you to take a look how it's looking and um, how it's going to look afterwards. So I'm gonna quit uh, explain and go to... So I'm gonna go to my desktop and uh, right now it's still uh, coding, but uh, let's start it XP Measurizer.py. So here's the interface of the XP Measurizer. Let me just bring down this console here. And uh, this is basically the tool. So how this works. This is, uh, the, we have like three icons here. This is the map where you will choose your area that you wanna like, and you want to address or sculpt. This, we have the button here that will send that mesh to Blender. And then we have finally this button here that will open Ortho4XP. So you can reject the mesh that you sculpt. Uh, was, since this is just starting from scratch uh, and I'm still working, I have these settings here that they come and it says like set Blender app. We're gonna set the apps and uh, just for the first time, just for you to to look how this is all set up. So my Blender is Blender here, Blender. I found my Blender XA that is filtering and it saved, saves it here. Now let's look for Ortho4XP and I have it here, Ortho4XP. You go to go to the binary and then you will find Ortho4XP version 1, 3.0 there. And finally, the map application where you're gonna extract the geo tips. Um, for this, I'm using SAS. So let's go to where I have SAS. And it's in my scenery design, SAS. And here it is, SAS Planet. So I just open and I'm gonna save my settings. So the next time I open this, all these settings are saved. Now, with this, I'm just gonna start and uh, click here, so it will open SAS, and this is the area that I'm gonna work. So it's a tile 21 minus 107 west. So I already have this area that I want to work, or I want to extract and work and sculpt. So I already have it here. For those who have not used SAS before, this is very good. For those that you are familiar with SAS, this is pretty straightforward, so I just we just need to download. And I'm going to download, like uh, with a zoom level of 19, this area, and I'm just going to start downloading. So this is done. Now I'm going to stitch this, and I want to put it as a GeoTIFF sample, and I'm going to save it too. And for this, I'm going to create, uh, well, I have this already folder that I created, but it's called Islas Marias. So the file name, I'm just going to name it Islas Marias. And that's it. I'm going to save it there. I'm going to make sure that the projection is on geographic latitude longitude. And I'm just going to export for the sake the .kml file. And then you just hit uh, zoom. Let's not forget to change the zoom level to 19. This is going to give me like a a GeoTIFF with a 1536 resolution, like width and 3351 height. So I'm just going to start. Okay, this is done. Quit. Now I can just going to minimize this guy and then I'll go here and then I'm going to choose my tile folder. This is basically where you are doing your ortho. So in my case, 
I have this tile here and it's in custom scenery from X-Plane and I'm going to choose my tile here that I already built and I want to extract. So I'm just going to select that folder. I'm going to choose my working folder. My working folder is where I'm going to work in the project. So I'm going to scenery design, Islas Marias. I'm going to select that folder. And finally, I'm just going to choose the geotiff that I downloaded. And you can see it's already in Islas Marias. So I just choose this guy. And then you can see it's portrait. It's showing us the area that you're going to work. Now I'm going to file. I'm going to save this project as, let's say, Islas Marias. And now the project is saved. So next time I open the settings, I can close. Let's see. Let's just close or this guy and start it again. Here. You see this starts blank. Now I can just come here and file open project. Here's a project and boom, it's loading the project again. So you don't have to worry about. And I have here, which says the working tile is plus 21107, just for reference. Now I'm gonna just hit extract OBJ. And if I go to the console here, it's extracting. And now once it's extract, it's it's uh, it turns green. You can see here twenty one one oh seven. It's green. And now I can just hit click send to Blender. And boom, we have our terrain there in Blender. Now <clears throat> this comes already with the material set up here, but uh, still this doesn't have the UVs assigned yet. So what I'm gonna go is just to go to UV editing. I'm gonna press dot my keyboard and seven just to put it straight and i'm going to use here click ub and project view from browns and you can see here on the right that it's already with the texture and everything so i can just go to top orthographic mode let's go back to the layout and just switch to texture and boom we have the area that we want to work so, okay, let's say, let's do something just editing quick, uh, something very quickly. I'm just going to turn on the proportional thing or, you know, let's do something even more interesting. Let's just go to the sculpt, to sculpt mode. And then just hit uh, this elastic and we're just going to bring this very slightly here. You see we're already creating this mound or we can just come here with a proportional and I'm just going to let them see. Let's switch something more like this and then let's say something like this. All right, let's create some small heels on the wrong way. And okay. Let's see, this is what we have. Let's go to the object mode, and this is what we just crazy did here. Now to export it, and this is exporting, of course, uh, rectangle, but I'm just gonna go to here, press three. This is just for texturing purposes, so you can have the, the complete uh, tile, but uh, before exporting, you just need to delete this face because we don't want that face. And this is what we end. And this is also something that uh, we created a plugin that's uh, called Export Export Measurizer. So we click here, Export Measurizer. And uh, this is saving the project already here. You can see Blender, Design, blah, 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 it's Las Marias, and this is calling a 2107 version one. Blender, so everything said, let's click Control S once again. We can just close this guy. And we are back here in uh, the XP measurizer. Now we're just going to hit click Inject Object. Boom. And you can see here it's working. And once it's done, it opens the mesh for you to inspect. And let's just Click render mode, shading. Let's zoom into that area. 
and you can see there what we just did in Blender on the wrong way. So now once we have this, we can have we still have the colors and toggle material colors, so it will tell us where the C is, everything, so your masks and all the stuff is gonna be there. We can close this, we're happy with our results. This is what we did, and then we just uh, go to Ortho4XP. So we just open Ortho4XP, choose our base terrain, base folder, sorry. Uh, XP 11B, custom scenery, select the folder. We're just gonna put the tile. It's here. Just gonna reload uh, the tile config that I had. Apply, exit, and just build imagery. Boom. So I just built in the DSF once again. Let's wait, let's wait. And this is going to preserve everything, so this is something that you will see, so it's very straightforward. You can do like a lot of things with this, like sculpture terrain, sculpt, uh, you know, flatten some areas of uh, tarmac, flatten some areas of the buildings, of, uh, you can do whatever you want. There is uh, some restrictions that uh, I need to create something, like do a, a handbook or for reference and uh, stuff of preserving the density of the mesh. So depending on the zoom, level that you created your mesh, it will not distort the texture. Okay, so this is done. We can just uh, close. Boom, let's go back to explain. Yep, yeah, it's recording explain. So let's get new flight and we're gonna go exactly where we were. Let's see the result. Okay, let's go to our external view. And there you go. All the crazy stuff that we did is now So you can have your now uh, very interesting runway. So this was just a quick demonstration video and you can see there are no seams at all in the areas that we work, so it's blending perfectly. There are no strange seams, textures have been... Everything is looking correct. You don't see these uh, precision errors with uh, some other methods. So everything is looking nice and easy with the XP measurizer. Well, thanks for watching and hopefully this tool, I'm still refining some stuff, but this tool, I uh, hope that it will be released soon. Thank you for watching, and uh, this is your friend Captain Iceman.